Congratulations on the purchase of your new vending machine. In this DVD, you will find simple yet useful information on how to install and maintain your vending machine. Remove the cardboard box without a razor. Then remove the two metal plates. Tilt the machine upward slightly and remove one half of the wood skid. Now gently lower the vending machine so it will sit on its own legs. Tilt the machine upward slightly and remove the rest of the wood skid. Now gently lower the machine into place. Install at least one inch from the wall to allow good air circulation for the refrigeration unit. Make sure the vending machine is level. If not, the machine will not function properly. You can level the unit with the adjustments on the legs. The keys to the unit can be found in the change dispenser. Insert the key and turn clockwise. The handle will pop out. Turn the handle counterclockwise until the door opens. Carefully remove the protection from both sides of the glass. Inside the top half of the unit, you will find a spare set of keys, service manual, and price sheet. Now remove any remaining styrofoam that was in place during shipping. Be sure to remove all tape that was used to keep the coils in place when shipped. Now you can plug the unit into the wall outlet. At this point, it's a good idea to run a diagnostic check on the unit before loading products into the vending machine. Open the electronic money control unit with the second key. Now hold down the M button for five seconds. The front panel LCD will now show the software version to confirm that you're in the service mode. Press the scroll buttons 0 and 9 until you see test all motor in the LCD panel. Now press any key other than 0 or 9 to start the test. This test will cycle through all motors starting with A0 through F5 even if the motor does not exist in the vending machine. You can expect this test to take about three minutes. Now we are ready to load the unit with product. To open the product tray, push down on the lever on the right side. Now pull out the tray so you can start loading product between the coils. Start by loading the products from the back of the row being careful to place the products between the coils and not leaving any gaps or spaces. Items loaded improperly on the coils may result in products not being dispensed correctly. Insert the price tabs from the front, then let them drop into position. Okay. Now let's load soft drinks into the refrigerated section of our vending machine. The first three columns hold 35 12-ounce cans. A good tip is when loading carbonated drinks is to start by inserting beverages through the halfway point of the rack. This will avoid over-agitation of the soft drink. Now that the column is half full, you may insert the beverages in the top of the rack. The last five beverages will be loaded on the top portion of the column. The three columns on the right side are designed for larger beverages or non-standard sizes. Open the covers by inserting your fingers in the hole, then lift up. There are two sections to these columns, a front and a back. The back section must be loaded first. Open the back section by sticking your finger in the hole and pulling forward. It's a good idea to keep the largest part of the bottle towards you when loading the beverages. Now close the back section and fill the forward section. Your vending machine is supplied with spacers that allow you to load non-standard beverages like energy drinks into the columns. Be aware there are two different size spacers. The narrower spaces are to be used for the D3 column only. 
These spacers are very important when loading non-standard beverages because without them in place, the beverage may not make contact with the sensor. This faulty sensor reading will not only display a sold out message in the LCD panel, but will also prevent the dispensing of beverages from that column. The spacer in the back section needs only to be installed once. Take your time and make sure all the notches line up properly. The front spacer is installed after loading the back section with beverages. When reloading beverages, the front spacer must be removed before loading the back section. Now close the beverage column cover and the refrigerator door. This would be a good time to place the price tabs and beverages in the display area. Before you set up pricing for your items, you should load change into the money control unit. With the second key, unlock and open the money control unit. Remove the bill tray so you can load coins into the coin changer. Load each tube from the top using your finger to guide the coins into the tube. Each tube should be loaded about halfway with coins. The exact change only warning light on the front of the money control unit will stop flashing when sufficient change has been loaded into the tubes. Now to press and hold the M button until the software version number appears on the LCD panel. Scroll using the 9 or 0 buttons until you see the words price setting in the LCD panel. To set the price for the A0 location, simply hit A0 on the keypad. Then use the 9 key to increase the price in 5 cent increments and the 0 key to decrease the price in 5 cent increments. When you have reached the desired price, just key in your next selection and repeat the process. When all the prices have been set, press the M button to store all the information. Remember to reinstall the bill collection tray then slide the money control unit back into place. Lock the money control unit, then close and lock the door. That's it, your vending machine is now ready for service.